Don't yes. ever tell your kids to calm down. Ah. When it comes with kids, yes. um, start with your kids' triggers. Okay. So write out all the things that make them nervous and come up with anchor thoughts ahead of time. Okay. Ah. Because if you do it ahead of time in a calm situation, they've got to go to. Okay, good. Because once their minds start to scramble, it's very hard to get kids to <laughs> calm down. In fact, don't yeah. ever tell your kids to calm down because it, it well, no, here's, I made the mistake too. <laughs> It makes it harder for them because they can't calm down. Okay. Because when you get nervous, it's a state of agitation. Okay. So when you and I as moms go, calm down, just calm down. Right. It's got to be okay. Just calm down. Right. They immediately feel two things. They go, I can't calm down. And then they go, you don't get it, mom. And so it, it escalates it. So literally come up with anchor thoughts. And then okay. um, what I do when, when my kids would get super nervous is I'd pull them in super tight and I'd be like, let's breathe together. Okay. And in hearing your, and you know, we're going to get through this together and keep yourself even bubbly enough. Okay because you then take them from 100 miles an hour slowing down with you okay. versus trying to get them to calm down immediately. Okay. And when you, you hold in them well. and you kind of breathe in with them, and you're like, we're gonna, we're gonna get through this and you're gonna be okay and you don't have to go through this alone and I okay. get it, it's scary. Like they'll match your breathing okay, and then you start good. to take deep breaths and then all of a sudden it'll, it'll disappear. Well.